Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alwell here with KissAnalog.com. Um, we're in another setting today. Uh, I'm kind of on a vacation, a weekend vacation with our relatives. They invited us up to this place they rented for the weekend. They're here to ski. They came to Utah to ski. They've been at our house for a week. Uh, it's one reason why I haven't been putting out a lot of videos. I've been kind of busy with family and they're going to be here for a few more days. And so we'll get back to the videos. I got a lot of ideas. And I just want to wish everybody Happy New Year's. Hope you guys had great holidays and safe holidays, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, my wife uh, tore her knee up last year skiing, had surgery. So this is just our second time out today. And so we're going to play it safe. <laughs> hey, so I just want to give you kind of stats to the channel. We hit over 15,000 subs before the end of the year. That was awesome. That was a little ahead of schedule. That was really cool. And... Um, I've got, you know, a lot of ideas for this year. I'd like to hear from you guys. I did a lot of reviews at the end of the year. I was trying to do that for people who might want to be buying equipment and was just trying to give them some ideas. And so I kind of ramped up that. Um, and yes, I, and I got a bunch of free meters from Kiwitz. Uh, now what I want to say is I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nobody gives me any money. Um, to do videos or anything like that. I do get freebies. I get some inexpensive Kiwitz meters. I've got a, a group of those. I mean, they're pretty inexpensive. It's not really worth me doing videos, but I think they're a good product and they're priced right. And so that's why, you know, I've done those. And I am an affiliate with them at their Kiwitz store. So use that link below. That helps the channel for free. And it also gives you guys a discount when you go through my channel to Kiwit store. Uh, Amazon is another place where I'm an affiliate, and that's another place where it's free to help the channel. Uh, they don't give me a discount for people, so it doesn't cost you guys any extra, but you don't get a discount either by using my links um, for Amazon or eBay. So both of those, I'm just affiliates at, and I think over, uh, last year I probably made $50 off eBay so I don't really make any money on that and Amazon I make more but not a lot I'm still a real small channel so I don't get paid by I'm not sponsored like other people who might get some you know advertisements from fluke and some of these big companies and but on the good side of that is I don't need to care what I say about these companies I can be completely honest and not care what they think. <laughs> so, uh, for you guys, that's a good thing. And I like to be honest, so that's a good thing. Now, not to say you have to be dishonest if they're advertising on your channel, but you might not be as free to speak openly about how you feel about it. You know, you might give them the benefit of the doubt, for instance. But anyway, I don't have any of those relationships. You know, Kai Wheats, if I don't like something on a meter. There's, I have, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not making enough money from the affiliate with them. And I think last year, total last year, it was uh, 150 bucks or something like that. So now, uh, Patreons, uh, those guys, I appreciate the heck out of those guys because I know what it takes. I mean, I think it takes a lot to sign up to say, hey, I'm going to subscribe to this channel and give a dollar a month or $2, $5. I have some, I have a few guys give me $5 or more a month. Most people, it's less, $1 or $2. And I, I'm under $100 on that. So, and that hasn't changed throughout the year. I mean, last year I hit that and I thought, oh, that's awesome. My affiliates are going up. But yeah, affiliates that drop out, they see you do a couple meter reviews and they're like, ah, we're not supporting you, we don't like that, we want to see technology. Well, I think when you review equipment, you also learn things because you learn what equipment does and how to use it as well. Where, you know, even as an experienced person, you know, doing engineering for years, uh, there's still things I learn when I see a new meter. Part of that is because I've used Fluke for years. They don't have the latest technology. They don't have the latest goodies. And so when I pick up a Hyoki, for instance, or a Fleur meter, I'm like, wow, these meters can do this stuff. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, so I'm still learning too. So uh, yeah, but anyway, you know, I'm not twisting anybody's arms, obviously. They don't wanna, you know, support the channel. The other thing is I've got some projects going on and 
Um, I'm trying to make YouTube videos on those. Uh, I'm trying to juggle between thinking about how I can actually make some money on the side uh, and doing my YouTube. My YouTube is a nice hobby. It's actually expensive. Last year I spent, my wife's in the bedroom, I closed the door. I spent way too much money last year. The good side of that is I have a lot of projects to build. So got some cool audio projects and some other projects for you guys. Oh, which here's another really cool thing. Last year, besides Kai Wheats, just gave me meters here and there. Um, they gave me some of their latest meters review. I got a Kickstart uh, project, which Learn Electronics has reviewed. I'm gonna review that thing as well. Um, I've got, uh, gosh, uh, Animator that I'm gonna review. I meant to do that before the holidays. That's an inexpensive meter somebody sent me. Uh, but the really cool thing is Companies like PicoTech, you know, Pico, the PicoScopes, those guys have been super great. They gave me two oscilloscopes. I mean, that's just awesome. Now, I don't get any affiliates or anything like that, unless I can find a link on Amazon some way, which I think I found some of those. But I think if you go to Pico, tell them you're, the channel is saying that they might give you a discount. Uh, Hioki will give you a discount, and they're going to try to figure out a way that if you do, uh, contact them and buy a Hioki meter, anything, not not just something I've reviewed, but any Hioki product, uh, which have a lot of cool products. Multimeters is just like a small, a teeny fraction of what they do. But anything you buy from them, you'll get a discount if you tell them you're, you went, you know, you went there because of my channel, uh, because of Kiss Analog. They're going to work out a deal where they're going to somehow make me an affiliate where I'll get some something for, for those sales too. So. That'll be another free way to help the channel. So yeah, between uh, the Kaiwits, you know, uh, the Hioki, they gave me some multimeters. That's all they've done and, and agreed to do this uh, discount for you guys. And then I've got, and I think Kaiwits is going to do a thing where I've kind of figured out where, where if I do a meter giveaway, they'll mail it to whatever country. I think that's the way it's going to work. That way, that'd be cool because anybody in the country, because I've shipped some multimeters that I bought and I've shipped them. I've shipped a couple meters that I paid over 200 bucks for and I've given them away and it's cost me 80 bucks, 100 bucks to ship. I've done that twice out of the country or two or three times. Well, okay, adding them up. Yeah, I've sent, I think, three meters out of the country now. I think. <laughs> and I've sent other meters inside the US. And so I've given away things that I personally bought with my own money. I do have some uh, freebie meters and I've offered to do giveaways and I haven't had a lot of takers. Now there is someone who turned in the schematic and he was, he's also an affiliate and, I mean, he's also a pa Patreon, and he says, oh, you don't have to send me a multimeter. But I, I'm going to send him one because I think uh, there's one other guy. I think there's only two people that send me, sent me the schematics that I asked for on one of the giveaways. So you guys, if you're watching, I'm going to uh, pull those meters up because I haven't had anybody else. I'm going to send those meters to you, okay? Uh, so I've got some meters I'm going to give away. I have an oscilloscope that a Patreon sent me. It's a right doll. I'm going to review that, and we're going to do some kind of special giveaway on that too, okay? And, you know, play it forward, right? He said to me, he didn't want his name brought up, which brings up another topic. Uh, I've gone to my patrons and asked if, if I could use their names, and I put them on a couple videos, but I want to do that on every video, kind of put a trailer or something. I want to give shout outs to my patrons. And so I'm going to send out another message, ask which names I can use, because there are some guys who say, no, I, I you know, hey, I'm, I just want to give to you. I don't want to, um, you know, they don't want their names out there. So uh, like the guy that gave me the scope, you know, so um, and then there's another guy. I think he's going to send me some things. And so those kind of things I'll review and then I'll ship them off to other people. OK, we'll have to figure out some giveaways. And I'm going to figure out some ways to support my Patreons. For instance, if you guys need help with design work, stuff like that, contact me. Um, I'll help you out with that. Uh, I, but I'm going to start doing some live videos maybe with my Patreons. 
you know, I'm going to figure out some things to do with that too. And my friend that's been working on my YouTube channel, he's moved. There's, you know, this whole epidemic, you know, this whole thing is kind of throwing thing out of whack. I was supposed to have that done multiple times, you know, in the past before I got my friend involved. And then he, you know, things came up, he ended up moving, but he's contacted me. He's come and visited me recently over the holidays and he's got something to show me. And so you should see a YouTube site up soon, which I hope it's going to be uh, with a blog, you know, where you guys can trade comments and help each other. And um, also maybe I'll have some equipment in there that I can list that I might, I don't know, have giveaways or sell certain things. And the other guys I want to give a big shout out to is Omicron. They sent me that um, uh, the body meter where I can do uh, body plots and a bunch of other things. And I've used that in a few videos, but I'm going to use that more. So between PicoTest, uh, Hioki, and Omicron, those are some expensive items that you know they've sent me. And you know the Kiwis, you know the other end of the scale. So. I'm trying to think if I left everybody else out. But yeah, those are the three main companies that sent me some pretty expensive gear for free. They didn't ask me to say anything special. I think they've seen the channel. They just kind of trust what I'm going to say. And they have trust in their own product. So there's no need for them to give me any guidance or ask if they can see the video before. That's only happened one time by some other brand. And I said, nope. And then they said, oh, that's okay. Go ahead and do the video. And We'll just be happy, and they were, and so. Uh, but most of the multimeters that I review, I bought, I pay for, and it's only the Kiwis and the ones right where, where I mentioned. Like I said, nobody pays me to do any videos, so not sponsored by anybody. Hopefully someday, maybe it'd be cool, uh, get some money, um, help support. I could spend more time, and I do spend a lot of time answering comments. You guys notice the. The channel my size, I might be one of the few guys that actually try to answer everybody. I usually go to the subscribers first, and then I try to hit the others, but I do kind of eventually, you know, sometimes I think I should be doing a video instead of answering, you know, comments because, you know, maybe you guys would rather have that. So, yeah, it's getting to the point where I might spend a whole day just sitting around, you know, answering comments. So, and then sometimes they get wiped. Um, if I don't apply, I'm not sure what happens if, yeah, anyway, I'm not sure what the deal is there, but sometimes I've noticed they've been wiped. I've had to go back and redo them. So, all right, guys, making this too long. Thank you. Happy New Year's to everybody. And uh, it's going to be a fun new year. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Give me your ideas, what kind of videos you like. Right now, I have the Microcap series. It's been popular. People like that. It's awesome software. Get it if you haven't got it yet. It's $4,700, $4,500 if you had cash a couple years ago. The guy retired. It's free now. It's a very mature product. has lots of libraries, lots of parts. You can add new parts, and it's just huge. And I'll be doing more stuff on that. I'm going to get into some more. I've been trying to... I start off slow to get everybody kind of, you know, start on it. But I'm going to mix in some more elaborate simulations too, okay? For people, who, you know, doing power supplies or audio stuff that want to see some things that might be a little bit more on the, you know, the pro end, let's call it, you know. But, um, but still, if you're a newbie, you know, if you're somebody just learning, it, it should still help because I'll point out like how you do this and how you do that. So, okay. And then, so I've got the micro cap stuff. I was doing a KISS University. Uh, I was going to start teaching from basic electronics, do some math stuff in there too, and bring it up. I, I, I still kind of want to do that. I didn't get a lot of viewers on that. So maybe it's just because it was too new, but I do want to start that. I've got some book review um, playlists. I want to start reviewing some more books. I got lots of books that some really cool books, some free ones too. I want to review those. And so then I've got the power supply, which that's my specialty. I'm a power supply guy. And then the audio stuff. And I've got an audio project I got to get going. So, and there's power supply related stuff in there. And I've got some really cool power supply stuff. Got a couple cool power supply videos I was going to do for you. Had some issues with the stuff I was using. It let out the magic smoke, that kind of thing. So I've got a, you know, 
I gotta get back on top of that and finish those videos. But so yeah, I've done some videos that you guys just haven't seen yet. But, hey, uh, a couple other playlists that I've been working on is I barely started the dip trace, which is schematic entry PCB board layout. Uh, that's gonna be a bigger theme this year. Okay, I'm gonna do some board designs. I wanna teach you guys, I've seen some stuff on YouTube, there's some really good stuff on how to do circuit board layout and, and schematic capture. And then there's some stuff that's not so good. Uh, so I wanna, you know, start at a beginner's level, how to draw schematics properly, at least in my viewpoint, okay? And, um, and then how to do PCB layout, you know, how to create parts. So stuff like that. So that's another playlist I'm gonna do. I've got some other simulation software that I want to show you too. I've got some that you use on like pads, like iPad for instance. I've done some videos with that. It's really cool because it's really visual and if you guys know what I'm talking about, um, I'm going to do some, I'm going to uh, continue the playlist on that as well, okay? So I'm going to try to um, space it apart so I kind of hit each one of these playlists and, and kind of keep them alive and keep them going, okay? and. You know, there's, um, you know, how to use oscilloscopes, for instance, things like that. Um, so let me know if you guys, I can't think of all the playlists, but I just want to mention that dip trace uh, schematic entry software, because that's kind of a big one. There's another one from Lab Center. They gave me a copy. I never got around to using it, and the year expired, so I got to ask them if they'll give me another one. It's really great software. I've used that before. And so we'll see if we can, if I can demonstrate that as well. Oh, and there's also a math tool. You guys might be familiar with MathCAD. It's a way to do uh, your math. It's kind of like a, you know, let's say you use Excel as a spreadsheet to do all your math. Well, this is more of a visual way. You can see the equations, so like a scratch pad, right? Well, there's another company. MathCAD used to be a lot, uh, you know, they, they were bought by a big conglomerate, kind of like Fluke was, like a lot of these companies have been. And so they're not, they don't work with people as well as they used to. I reached out and asked them if I could get a copy so I could show you guys, because you can get student copies or, there, there are lower cost things, but I can't afford to buy all these things. Um, but Maple software, it's a very powerful program, super powerful, and it's really meant for people doing research and experiments and they using universities. Uh, I do have a copy of that. They gave me a copy and they came out with a new version of that that's more like the MathCAD where it's more like a scratch pad. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that as well. So let me know your interest in all those kind of things, what you guys think, and what other playlists I can do. Or I know I've got some other ones I've started, other playlists I'm working on. Can't think of them all right now, but I'm going to try to try to hit them. So give me shout outs about which ones you like and which ones you'd like to see more videos in. Okay. All right. And two big thumbs up for my patrons. Really appreciate all you guys. Thanks for sticking it out and hanging in there. These rough times. I know, you know, things have been tough last few years and I really do appreciate you guys. It doesn't matter. Some people, um, apologize for only being able to you know, give a dollar and there's no apologies needed. I mean, that's gigantic. I think it's just, it's like, you know, it's not even the dollar as much as a big pat on the back. So thanks a lot, appreciate it. And hey guys, uh, one thing I wanted to say that I think was really special on this channel this year, and it's kind of what pushed me up to the 15,000 subscribers. I think I was gonna fall a little bit short before the end of the year and at the beginning of this last year, I was hoping to hit 20. I had big ideas, doing lots of videos, and then the job changes and things like that happened. So yeah, that didn't quite happen. So then I was hoping for 15, it looked like I was gonna fall short. And then a video rant that I did on Fluke, uh, Dave Jones from the EEV blog uh, commented on that video a year later. <laughs> and I thought it was great. He pointed out some, you know, it's like he was trying to be the good guy. Say, well, this might be some reasons. And he pointed out, you know, six reasons why he thought, you know, they might be justified, which I still think that's funny. <laughs> I think he was trying to be the good guy and give him the 
you know, the biggest leash they could have gotten from anybody. I mean, he's a big guy on YouTube. That, uh, so, so what happened with that was I ended up doing a video based on that because I wanted to kind of explain my stance on that a little bit more because a lot of people took it the wrong way. Like I'm suggesting buying the cheapest meters. I'm not. I'm saying there's a lot of really good meters that, you know, say 200 bucks, 150 dollars, or even 400 dollars. They're still half the price of a fluke, and they're way better, in my humble opinion. I still believe that. So, <laughs> so I responded to his comments. I was really happy that he even read something or saw a video on my channel, and then he said it inspired him to do a video on it. Well, he posted his video. It turned out he posted just a few hours before I posted mine, which was pretty funny. And man, I think he had maybe 100,000 views. I don't know if he had that many, but he had almost that many views before my video even got posted. So it was a big hit for him. If you look back at his videos, you might have to go back a couple years before his videos build up that kind of number. Uh, I think it's fallen in his top 10 videos and it's only been out for a short time. He's over 300,000. He might be approaching 400,000 by the time I post this. So I think that's awesome for him that he's done so well on that. And yeah, it's hard to say why. Uh, I know there's a lot of Fluke fans out there because they don't like it when I say anything negative about Flukes. And guys, I use Flukes for years and years. I just started in this channel and learned other things. <laughs> so I want to give a big shout out to Dave Jones for noticing my channel because it put a lot of other people's eyes on this channel, which is what's helped the subscriber rate, especially in the last couple of weeks where I've been busy with uh, vacation, family, visiting and stuff, and I haven't done videos and it's still growing. So he also sent me two multimeters, which I'm gonna do a review. And I saw he posted a video where he kept saying he's not in a review, he's just kind of showing the construction of his meter versus the fluke, which, man, that was a funny video. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's a funny video. If you guys don't think, I know if you're a fluke lover, you thought, yeah, yeah, but, uh, man, uh, he was giving every, he was, his spidey sense, all that stuff. He was trying to be so polite and so nice to fluke. <laughs> and that meter doesn't hold a candle to his meter. The meter late set next to it blows it away. And I'll show that in my video, okay? I, I started that video. But yeah, I just haven't been able to post it. But thanks Dave Jones for sending me those two uh, multimeters. Uh, Santa from Australia. That was pretty cool. That, that was super cool for this channel. A little teeny channel like mine. Um, Dave's super respected in this field. Not just as an engineer, but as a, a video blogger. And you know, so for him to give me any recognition I accept full heartedly, and he's a big reason why I even started this channel. I thought, hey, I'm an engineer too, and I like what he's doing, and I've got a different spin. I'm a power guy. Maybe I can do power stuff, which I'm going to do a lot more of. It's like I've been building this base, and I'm ready to start going down the road now. So, uh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Dave and EEV Blog. And you guys, I know you're all subscribed to that, but if you're not, you should. <laughs> But thanks for subscribing to this channel. Give me a break and give me a, a chance to see if it's worthwhile, right? Okay, and sorry it's been slow since then, but it'll pick up and we'll have a good year. All right, hey, uh, beautiful setting. I'm gonna go skiing and thanks for watching. If you stuck out to the end, that's awesome. And let me know how I should do giveaways, okay? <laughs> All right, give me your ideas on that too. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.